Hey guys, Theo Johnson here, doing my next ball review. It's been a long time, so I'm glad to be back doing these again. Uh, today we're doing a ball review of the Brunswick Zenith Pearl. Uh, ball looks beautiful. Um, just to let you guys know, I do, mine have, I do have mine at 3,000. Um, just to smooth out the reaction a little bit, I drilled mine with a pinup layout. I went uh, 40, uh, 40 by 5 and a quarter uh, by 40. Um, this gets the ball down the lane a little bit more. Uh, really, really good house shot ball. Um, uh, the, Z the Zenith obviously, you know, features the AXH um, activator extreme hook cover stock. Um, really, really good ball. Um, I loved it so far. Throwing it in league, it's been absolutely amazing. Um, at the Zenith core, a little lower RG 248. Um, differential number is 052. So today we're uh, here at Fairview Lanes in Granville. So we got some fresh oil out, which is always nice. Uh, we're gonna throw some strikes, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, and let you guys know how she rolls and I'll be doing a little bit of commentation and uh, talking a little bit about the bowling ball. Yeah, Iron Man mask. <laughs> All right, see you in a sec. Tad bit about me, uh, higher rev rate and 16 to 17 miles an hour. Uh, yeah, so throwing this today at Fairlanes uh, in Granville, Michigan. Uh, it's a little bit higher friction surface than where I'm bowling in league. I bowl at uh, Spectrum Lanes and I've thrown this ball pretty much every single Wednesday and it's done exceptional um you know compared to the other bowling balls in the line it's definitely a step up from the melee series and the hero series um you know but again th this is something that i'd probably throw in a tournament depending on the pattern right in transition uh to get in the ball if i need something a little bigger when i can move in that still returns from the corner um if it's a little bit flatter pattern you know i might still use it i got that one a little bit right <laughs> Um, you know, but it's at 3000 right now. Uh, this is not out of box surface. I did throw it out of box. It went a little too far down the lane. So I wanted to get it to shape up a little bit more, uh, just for my style with my higher tilt. Um, overall, like I said, this ball is awesome. The farther I got in, um, you know, the more I had to get kind of steep with it for it to really shape up and do its thing. Uh, but you know, that's these bowling balls, these big cores, big covers, you know, they're, they're great. Um, there's a lot of cool technology out there. Uh, Brands and Brunswick, they really did their toll here uh, with the new innovative technology they brought out in a lot of these new releases. Um, you know, the AXH cover stock uh, and the combination of the Zenith core, I mean, that's just a that's just a win-win. Um, I have not thrown the original Zenith, um, but I would assure you that ball hooks a lot. I've seen a lot of different ball reviews on it. A lot of guys throwing it. Um, definitely a big ball. Uh, Another great thing about this piece is that, you know, when I manipulate my hand position, it, it really shows, right? Um, the shape this ball gives me is awesome. And it definitely was, you know, gave me different options, uh, different areas in the lane, depending on how I came out of the ball and everything. So, yeah, um, you know, and if you don't have one of these, definitely go pick one up. I definitely recommend it. Um, the ball that I'll be showing you here in a second is the uh, Kinetic Platinum, the track ball. It's definitely a little more angular down the lane um but this would be the zenith is a little bit stronger overall uh the kinetic platinum would be something maybe uh your next ball down um from the zenith but uh that's all folks you know take care thanks for watching and uh be sure to subscribe and hopefully got some more ball reviews coming soon thank you